All right, folks, now that we got all our supplies uh, ready to go, I want to kind of show you um, how to actually do these tests. Um, the two tests we're going to be um, using for this particular exercise are the Marquis reagent test, uh, which is primarily used to help identify amphetamine, methamphetamine, and opioids like heroin, uh, morphine, and codeine. And then the other one we're going to be using is the Ducanoy Levine reagent, um, which is used to identify marijuana. Uh, so both of these reagents do involve uh, the use of a little bit of acids. Um, the Ducanoy Levine reagent is a three-step uh, reagent test that involves the use of vanillin and acetylahyde mixed with a little bit of uh, hydrochloric acid and then a little bit of chloroform. And then the Marquis test has a little bit of con concentrated sulfuric acid in it. And since there are some acids inside these little containers, uh, even though the chemicals will be contained within the envelopes, um, because there is a, a small hazard um, in terms of possibly getting some of that on our, our hands, we want to make sure that we're wearing gloves when we do these tests. So I'm going to go ahead and put my, my latex gloves on before I begin. So I have some latex gloves here that I picked up just uh, at the dollar store, or you can buy them at... Uh, home improvement store or even at Walmart. All right, the, the first test we're going to do is going to use um, the Ducanoy Levine test, which again is a test for uh, marijuana. Um, if you look at the Ducanoy Levine packet, I'm going to flip around so you can maybe see a little better, you notice that there's three vials in there because the Ducanoy Levine test requires uh, the mixture of three different chemicals. Um, if you look at the front of the packet, uh, we're actually going to break the vials from left to right. So we're going to break the one on the left first then the one in the middle, and then after we do that, we're going to shake it, and then we're going to break the, the vial on the, the right, uh, lastly. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of our sample. So what we have here is a bag of uh, green plant material. We have a bag of marijuana. We're going to add a small amount of that marijuana to our uh, envelope here, and then we're going to expose it to the chemicals and hopefully see a chemical color change. So the first thing we have to do is open up the, the envelope here, um, these particular little kits are ones used by police officers in the field. Typically when we do these tests in the crime lab, we will have uh, the reagents already made up uh, in large bottles so we can use them again and again. Uh, these are basically disposable one-time test uh, kits that police officers can use if they come across someone who's suspected of having drugs. They can test them right there in the field. So we, we have opened up our little container here. We're going to get a little bit of our sample out. Um, you can just take a, a pinch is really all that you need. Uh, I'm just going to use a small plastic spoon to scoop up just a little bit of the sample out. In fact, that's if you see there, that's actually probably a lot more than I really need. But we're going to dump at least that much in there. We're going to go ahead and dump it into our little envelope there. Tap it down to the bottom. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put the, the clasp back on here to clasp it shut. All right. All right, so now that our sample's in there, we're going to go ahead and break our vials. To break them, all we're going to do is we're going to take and squeeze, and there's a little glass vial in there, and then as we squeeze it, it's going to break, and it's going to release the liquid. So again, you see the, there's three vials in there. They have liquid. We're going to, to squeeze them one at a time to release the liquid. Uh, we're going to squeeze the first one and break it, and if you listen carefully, you'll hear it break. All right, you notice that it released some liquid in there. We're going to shake it a little bit. With this first liquid, we should see no color change, meaning it should stay clear. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and break the second one. We're going to squeeze the middle one until it squeeze it until it breaks. All right. Now notice we see a, an almost an immediate color change. We see this kind of almost deep violet, almost purple color. Uh, so when we mix the vanillin, acetylhyde, and the hydrochloric acid, we see this dark purple color. Now we're going to break the last one. The last one contains chloroform. Right, notice the chloroform doesn't mix. We get what's called a two-layer liquid. It's actually two different layers. If we shake a little bit, we notice that we get a purple color on top and then a pink color in the bottom layer. Uh, if a purple color on top and a pink color in the bottom layer is a positive reaction uh, or a, a positive test for the presence of THC, which is the active ingredient in marijuana. So this would be a positive test for the presence of marijuana. So here we have a positive test using the Ducanoy Levine reagent. Now let's test something else. Um, oregano. All right, so let's put our marijuana aside here. All right, oregano, 
is a, a common uh, spice used, in, especially in Italian cooking and things. Of all the spices, it actually looks closest to marijuana in terms of its physical appearance. Um, and so what we want to figure out is, does marijuana, even though it looks like, sorry, does oregano, even though it looks like marijuana, actually test positive for THC the way that marijuana does? So we're actually going to take another one of our Duke and Oil Levine reagents here. We're going to open it up. Open up our can of oregano. Try not to make too big of a mess here at my wife's table. Right, we're going to dump just a little bit in here. And we don't need very much. What would be a pinch? In fact, that's actually probably way more than we really need. That's okay. I'm going to tap it down there. Go ahead and close it off. Go ahead and put the clamp back on here. All right, and so now I'm going to test the oregano. Again, I'm going to break the three vials one at a time. I'm going to break the one here on the, the left first. Shake it. All right, we see no color change. All right, so now I'm going to break the one in the middle. All right, I want to shake it. Now, if this were marijuana, like the last one, we would see a color change. We would see it turn purple. Right now, we're seeing basically no color change. All right, so I'm going to break the last one just for good measure, just to see if we get some sort of change. I'm going to break it. I'm going to shake it. We see no color change. All right. So what do I do with these results? So you have a worksheet for this exercise um, where you're supposed to fill it out. Um, and so you're going to test uh, for the Ducanoid Levine. In fact, let me pull up our worksheet here. For the Ducanoid Levine test, I'm going to be testing uh, instant coffee. I'm going to be testing oregano. I'm going to be testing um, tobacco. Sorry, uh, yeah, tobacco, uh, patchouli oil, and you'll have a, again a bottle of patchouli oil in your kit, and then marijuana. And if you get a positive reaction, then you're going to want to put a check mark in the column that says positive reaction, and then also record the color. If you get no reaction, like we did with the oregano, then you put a check mark in the column for no reaction. So that's the Duke and Levine reagent, and I'll record another video to show you the Marquis reagent.